mambo vipi welcome again na hii ni episode 5 katika episode 5 niliweza ku kuwatonya tu kuhusiana na major currencies sasa kama kwenye technical analysis unatakiwa kufahamu kuhusu major currencies kwenye fundamental analysis unatakiwa kufahamu kuhusu zile major central banks okay so zile major currencies kila moja ina major central bank this is very very important tumetoka kuangalia laws kazi za central banks ni nini na tumeweza kuzidiscuss kwa undani ndani sana naomba twende tukaziangalia hizi major central banks ambazo ndizo zinasimamia zile major major currencies okay so ya kwanza kabisa ni marekani tunaita US Federal Reserve kifupi chake ni Fed kwa hiyo ukisikia Fed governor wanamaanisha governor wa benki kuu ya marekani okay that means hawa jamaa wana kazi ya ku stabilize currencies inayojulikana kama USD United States dollar the second ni European Central Bank ECB. So ukiona ECB governor speaks that means ni muhimu kufahamu kwamba wenzetu wa Ulaya wao walikuja wakakaa wakakubaliana wakaja na currency yao moja yani kama Afrika tuwe na currency yetu moja alafu wakaja wakawa na central bank yao moja. Ulaya ni moja ya 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 bala ambalo lina muunganiko mzuri sana. These guys wana yani nchi moja ikisema hivi nyingine inasema vile vile. Tofauti tofauti sana. Okay? Tofauti tofauti sana na nchi zetu za Afrika. Huko kwetu kidogo ni shida. Huko kwetu kidogo ni changamoto. So Ulaya walikuja wakakaa wakakubaliana sawa? Na katika katika ECB almost ni nchi tisa sawa wote wanafanya kazi na ECB sawa so these guys wana website yao ambayo tutaiangalia huko mbele pia so website yao ni www.ecb.europe.eu alafu slash okay ni muhimu sana ni muhimu sana kufahamu hizi central banks na website zao pia tutaangalia hapo mbele website zao lakini nimesha kwambia ukitaka kuangalia website kwa mfano ya US Federal Reserve unaweza tukaandika Fed ukiandika Fed watakuletea website yao pale ya Federal Reserve utaandika ECB utaletewa website yao ni very simple lakini pia Uingereza kama Uingereza I think imesha jitoa Ulaya sijajua kama mswada umeshapitishwa na uka, ikawa sheria lakini Bank of England ambao kifupi chake ni BOE. Remember ukienda kule kwenye Forex Factory utakuwa unakutana na vifupisho vya haya majina ya bank. Kwa ukiona BOE maana yake hii ni Bank of England na ina affect GBP. Okay? Kuna Bank of Japan ambao ni BOJ that means ina affect Japanese yen ambao ni JPY Japanese yen inakuwa affected maana yake hii bank kazi yake ni kumake sure uh, iko hiyo hiyo i mean your currency iko stable okay iko iko very very stable hicho ni kitu cha msingi sana unataka ukijue okay so ukishajua currency fulani ipo chini ya benki fulani ni rahisi wewe kwenda na kuangalia okay sasa hizi benki zote zina ma president. Hizi benki zote zina ma na ma president. Nadhani president wa ECB mpaka sasa hivi ni mama mzee fulani hivi anaitwa Lagarde. Okay, Christine Lagarde. Okay. Tangu 2000 na 2019 na na mpaka leo I think bado yupo kwenye madaraka. Ni muhimu sana kufahamu hilo. Kuna ma president kila sehemu. Sawa? Yeah. lakini upande wa, wa, wa Bank of Bank of England jamaa anaitwa Andre Bailey Andre Bailey ndo ndo ndo, ndo mtu ambaye paka leo yeye ndo governor okay yeye ndo governor wa huko lakini governor wa bank uh, president i mean president wa wa bank kuu ya Japan anajulikana kama Haruhiko Kuroda. Okay, ni kama Kiswahili tu Haruhiko 
kiroda huyu ni ni, ni, ni mzee mzee kidogo hivi tangu mwaka 1944 ni moja ya watu ambao ni matabe sana okay sawa so kila kila sehemu kuna kuna president wake na kuna gov, au governor na this guys ukiwasoma vizuri utaelewa kuna Swiss National Bank ambao ni CNB kuna Reserve Bank of Australia kuna Reserve Bank of New Zealand alafu kuna Bank of Canada so ni muhimu muhimu sana kufahamu hiyo so tutaingia deep katika next episode na let's end here asante kwa kunisikiliza next